just got us excited with your call to action. We should be hear you more. Please come back and we'd like to hear from you again. Right? Everybody agree with the second report? Wow, okay, but keep the show going here. Our second keynote speaker of the morning is wrapping up what I would call, and I'm a little impartial, I think, um, the most successful term of any ASEAN Secretary General, um, in my opinion. Sudan Pitsuan is a former foreign minister of Thailand, based here now in Jakarta, has lived here with us for the past four years as the leader of the ASEAN Secretariat heading the secretary for the 10 ASEAN members. After a very productive ASEAN summit in Bali two months ago, many people are now wondering, sir, where are you going next? <laughs> Hopefully you'll answer that shortly. Dr. Sunil Pitsuwa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is very difficult to follow the eloquence of Secretary Cohen at this very, very important forum. He talked about a movie, A Man for All Seasons. He himself is a man for all seasons. <laughs> Having survived many, many congressional contests. And then being appointed as Defense Secretary in a democratic administration. I call that a skill in political survival. <laughs> I wish I could learn from you, sir. But it is a great privilege to be with you this morning at this very, very unique and important forum on the role of the private sector in species and habitat protection. And I'm glad one of the Bakri brothers is here with us, Indra. I think it is important that the private sector and the public sector and the civil society would come together and come with this new awareness that I would call a new global awareness. Secretary Cohen talked about the power of connectivity that has generated a new consciousness of the vulnerability of this very, very small planet. We need to articulate that awareness and we need to strengthen that awareness that we are here only temporarily. That if this planet is going to survive at all, it will take the entire human species to work together. <clears throat> In the Quran, Senator, Secretary Cohen, Allah says, Inni ja'inun fil abdi khalifa. That's Arabic. Truly, I am creating my representative vicegerent, vicegerent on earth. All of us, all of you, are representatives of God. And we are here to protect all creation. And in the Quran, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to David, the prophet, he said, with David, birds sing praise to God in the hills and in the valleys. I'm not quite sure if the birds are still singing now. I'm not quite sure if the orangutan can be secure. I'm not quite sure if the tigers can count on the vestigium of gods on earth, also for their, for their protection. I came from a hair racing experience, only last week, Thursday, in southern Thailand, flash flood. I arrived in the morning in my village at the foothill of that backbone of the Malay Peninsula, Mark Hartland, 
Peninsula, Thailand. I was told by the students in my Osantria, in my condo, that at 3.30 they woke up, there was nothing. At 5.30, two hours later, the goats were struggling in neck deep water. If they were 10 or 15 more minutes late, all the goats in that, underneath one of their cottages would have been gone. And believe it or not, I arrived at 8 o'clock. By 5 o'clock, all the water was gone. Why? It was so dangerous and why it was so quick, so fast, and it was such a height, at a height that I have never seen in my life. I was born in that village. Because all the forests that birds used to sing in praise of God are gone. Because of the population, because of the lack of respect for the environment. So flash floods are phenomenon that we are all experiences in these tropical parts of the world. ASEAN was born 45 years ago to encourage economic and socio-cultural exchanges in order to help our people in five original countries to get to know each other and to project our new identity onto the global stage. 44, 44, 43 years later, there was Cyclone Nagis, if you remember, early 2008, on the Irrawaddy River Delta. 140,000 lives perished. It was my first year as Secretary General of ASEAN, and I was given a new title, ASEAN Coordinator for Humanitarian Assistance. <coughs> Secretary Cohen told about his life story, I'm telling you about my life story, why this issue is so important to the 600 million people, to 10 countries of Southeast Asia, because we are being visited by these calamities natural and in that natural dimension of it, human beings have tremendous contribution into it. Definitely the floods, definitely the climate change, definitely the degradation of the environment, definitely the disappearance of all these species that Secretary Cohen mentioned. We are only 3% of the, of the Earth's surface. But we are very, very important to the global environment. We are that small part that you could imagine as a modulator of the temperature, of the atmosphere, and of the global environment. <coughs> So ASEAN has to take this issue very, very seriously. Because the well-being and the survival of our 600 million people, plus all the species that live in this small portion of the earth, are dependent on all 600 million of us. And I'm glad to have a partner like the USAID, like the Cohen Group, like the Bakri group, all the civil society, all the public sector, to come and share our concern about the survivability of all living creatures here in this small corner of the earth. Now, we are prosperous. We are growing. Our middle class is expanding. Last night I was having dinner at the Mulia Hotel. Sorry to mention the name. I could have been here at Kopinski. And 
the crowd there was definitely upper middle class Indonesians attending a wedding. Really, traffic jam, but they were all exhibiting 